Am I back to, am I deagling again, guys, until I hit the deagle? Am I just banished to deagle land? Take my time. Nice. Take my time. Take my time. Take my time. Nice, Jane. Who's in the sm What? Jane, get that ace, though. I'm going. <laughs> Five headshots, one shots. <laughs> Dude, I was just about to say, like, man, you've been poor the whole game. You've had deagle the whole hey, game. Hey, I'm having a bad game. Leave me alone. And then, and then you destroyed them. This no, way. I got my, found my cheat. I found my center, guys. Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you, and welcome back to the show that you get mad at me for uploading anything but. Today I'll be playing as Mystery Box, in honor of game publishers enticing with the unknown in order to separate fools from their money. It works surprisingly well. Last time on Solo Kid Global, I ranked up to Legendary Eagle Master, which currently represents the top 6.42% of players. I'm not going to be able to just ace every round from here on out. Oh, what? Come, rotate, you fools! This guy is playing. There's a beater. Lit 91. That was the guy, lit 91. He who fights with noobs should be careful lest he thereby become a noob. And if thou gaze long into solo queue, the solo queue will also gaze into thee. He's out! What? Guys! There was something seriously wrong with my skills, and I needed to figure it out quickly to keep ranking up. How could I ace a pistol round only to slip into mediocrity? Middle fragging with a one kill death ratio and losing 16 14. Le deuxième me me me, je le le pepe. See if we can spark a conversation with my fellow gamers about this new CZ meta. Hey guys, how about that new CZ meta? What? They're in... E-Box. Orange train. Out of E-Box. It was great to get a map that wasn't Cash or Mirage, which seems to be the only ones people queue for in NA, but all the training in the world wasn't going to help me win from here on out. I already have 5,000 hours in the game and practice my aim all the time. There was something else I was missing. Yep. Ramp. Between bomb train. I had the bomb. Maybe he's going, uh... I bet he's going A. Yeah, yeah, go to A. Go to A. Yeah, he's on A, he's on A. Planting. I think he went orange train. He's danger, or not danger, hell. Last one's gonna be Z. Wow. He's old bomb, I think. Dude, that's incredible. I'm 
When you haven't played with your teammates before, the only common denominator is the standard way to play. You can't prepare strategies or get to know how your teammates play. But as Sun Tzu said, all warfare is deception. You need that deception, you need to deviate from that standard play in order to not get wrecked. In solo queue, that deception must come from the individual. Hey, I did a thing. I just did like an actual play. I'm like super proud of myself. Good job. Thank you, man. Oh no, S55. Don't. No, he's figured it out. No. Are you actually him? <laughs> Let's just keep playing the game, guys. <laughs> One hell, one hell. One out water, out water. Out hell. Individually, I felt like I was playing fine. I was playing positions where I could watch every entrance and someone ignore my teammates. Though they did have a habit of bunching up at certain positions like Z Connector. Train is a map where at the pro level, it skews CT sided because of the relatively long T rotates and the short CT rotates. But in matchmaking games where players don't coordinate as well or no interesting smokes and strats, it really comes down to the aim duels. I did it. One out hell. I respectfully disagree! Outside, get outside. One sucker. Because of my lack of trust in teammates, which you may look at as a flaw, but I look at as a strength. I've been doing solo queue for two years. I've learned that they, they want you to die. Anyway, here you can see my rotation of watching the different entrances. Normally an opera would just have a specific position where they just hold the angle, like looking down Olaf or watching Ivy. You get me? One's close ramp and one's behind sight. <sighs> What was that? Up or... Do you think I can hit this? I don't think I can hit this. We're gonna try though. Yeah, boy. Got got time. Lots of time. Hit it, keep going, keep going. Ah! Hit it now, hit it now, hit it now. Ah! Hit it. Yeah, you're Gucci, bro. You're Gucci, bro. Ah! Nice clutch. Hey, I did it. Let's go. <laughs> I thought about saving, but I was like, nah, who cares? Le shoot the blah blah. On top of the train, blue train. Op and Z. Oh, uh, dinked. Wow. Watch your flank. Yeah, they're under under ladder. Under ladder. Three outside connector. All right, I'm coming. After a few devastating rounds that we should have won, the team never quite recovered. It's amazing how much of this game is mental and how quickly the morale momentum can shift. From here on out, it was a slaughter. Dude, Glocks suck. Oh, he doesn't have time now. Oh, no. I wasn't making plays anymore, and you know what? I can't blame my teammates. They tried to pick up the slack. Oh, oh, he can win it. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful, dude. I love you. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's make babies. Beautiful. Um. 
Did he just quit? Should I delay for time? Unfortunately, the pressure got too much for one teammate and he bailed. He tilted so hard he fell off the game. As I rank up into the elite ranks of CSGO matchmaking, the game becomes more than just owning noobs. Because I no longer face noobs. My opponents will have thousands of hours in the game and will most likely play on third-party systems like Face It and ESEA. They know how the game works. Standard play works against the noobs, but better players can then predict your moves. It's time to stop playing to get sick frag montages that I can put video game soundtracks over and start playing like a player. Thanks for watching, I'm the War Allen. I still have no closer. See you in 2019 for the next episode. <laughs>